Hi, this is Stephen Eshaba, and I just want to help you out with the interpretation of a uh, of a profile that one has uh, obtained for finding the uh, energy of activation. And I'm picking up on a previous uh, video where we generated a uh, a profile, and I'm assuming that uh, you've got that, and so you've loaded it back up. Uh, from this point, it's pretty straightforward. Um, what you'll you'll want to do is go over here to the um, to the to the to this icon and we want to go to add and the most convenient one I find is to go to this thing called molecule list and there you see it says relative energies in kilojoules per mole and uh, so that loads that up and so you can see it here and then to make a graph of it uh, what will go here is now say plus and hopefully that item shows up for you on the right or you can do it that way and now we have uh, we have that graph on the right. Um, I kind of like to use this icon to uh, superimpose it on on here. And now what we can do is we can essentially play, and you can see how the uh, how the reaction is taking place. Um, bond uh, forming on the left and breaking on the right, and so on. And the other thing to take notice in this case uh, for the level the B three lip calculation that I did. Uh, the energy uh, looks like from from here, the starting place, up to here, it looks like we have to go up to about 50 kilojoules per mole. So that would be the energy of activation for, for this reaction. 